Uh, congratulations on a heck of a fight. But my question for you is, now that it's a couple of days past the fight, have you had the opportunity to go back and watch the fight? And if so, how did you score it? Because there's uh, so many people out there that are uh, vociferously saying that they believe that Tyson Fury won. I've been in the minority. I had the fight scored for you, but I want to know how you scored the fight. I haven't I haven't personally gone back and seen the fight, but I had um, many people to go back and see the fight. Um, and um, and they got their perspective of the fight. And many people have many, like I said, I'm here. Many people, you know, say I won. Many people say he won. And many people really felt like it was a draw. So I'm getting all versions of the fight. Um, I knew I was the, I knew I was the more, uh, 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 I was the more aggressive fighter in there. And I know I landed the more effective punches. You know, he was he was he was landing some punches, but most of it was pity pat um, punches. You know that didn't affect me to be a smaller guy, um, giving up almost fifty some, giving up fifty some pounds. You know, I feel when you coming in here fighting the champion, you got to be the, the the more dominant fight. You got to be you got to take the title. And I don't feel Fury took the title. He did a great. He had a great performance. You know that night he didn't have no pressure on him. You know he he's he's a visitor to this country. You know, they, they got excitement in their country. Their people support boxing, you know. So it didn't matter to him whether it was one person in the audience, but it, it mattered to me. I, I, I cared about that. And and um, I, felt like I, won, I felt like I won that fight, totally, you know. Uh, I agree, I would agree with I, you about that. But uh, now there's been a lot of talk from yourself and also from Tyson Fury, the fans, uh, and us media people about there being a rematch. I know it's something that you both have said you would like to have. My question for you is... Uh, you know, even though this fight was just a couple of days ago, how quickly do you think that a rematch can happen? And at what point do you think that the two sides will actually engage in a serious conversation to try to make it? I think um, both sides uh, definitely seriously want it to happen. I don't see why wouldn't we. You know, it was a great fight. And it's, it's, the buildup is already starting right now. You know, we can't get away from this fight. You know, uh, the excitement, everyone is talking about this fight. You just can't. It's only right for us to go back in and do it again, and I don't want to. Do, I don't want no other fights to happen between him or I. He don't have to worry about me moving past him, um, um, fighting anyone, and I hope he don't have to go to fight no one else. I want to get Tyson Fury the rematch ASAP. Some people feel like I don't want no rematch. Why wouldn't I not? I'm the baddest man on the planet. Who I don't know no one coming in fighting a killer after a killer and trying to go back in. I fought Luis Ortiz where people. Avoid it. Nobody still to this day want to fight him that's at the top. I come back and fight Tyson Fury, an undefeated fighter, a, a, a lineal champion that beat Blisco. They come back and, and, and do that after, you know, being uh, the boogeyman of the division. Now I'm willing to come back again. I'm not running nowhere. I, I'm excited. I'm more excited and motivated than anything. I had the taste of the pay-per-view. I loved it. Now I'm ready. I'm ready to do it again, and whenever he's ready, I'm ready. I hope he's, you know, early next year. I'm ready to go. Maybe March, maybe April. I'm ready to go. I don't want no one else but Tyson Fury. He deserved the rematch. It's such a uh, highly anticipated and talked about fight. I think the fans deserve a rematch to settle this score once and for all. I really felt God lifted this man up off that campus for the rematch. Uh, thank you for that. Deontay, I mean, uh, Steven, are you there? Steven Espinosa? Yeah, I'm here. Stephen, could you, uh, you know, you hear Deontay's comments about wanting to do a rematch as soon as possible. You mentioned a couple of possible months in there. Obviously, with your uh, company is going to have a lot of say-so in terms of uh, the timing, just given the schedule of pay-per-views. When could you envision this actually taking place if the two sides are able to come to an agreement? Well, I mean, for, for us, the overriding um, priority really is the health of the fighters. And that was a tough, tough fight. So we're not going to rush anything in to fit into a specific timetable. Um, both of those guys earned a, a, a long, long rest. Um, but you can hear in Deontay's voice, um, you know, that rest is going to be uh, not too long. So if they said, you know, May would be great, June would be great. Um, if it's, you know, later after that, I, I personally, um, April sounds a little quick to me, but uh, if, both of the guys feel like that gives them an opportunity to recover and go into it. 
Um, but this is the kind of fight we don't really need to schedule it around anything else. Um, we saw this past weekend the type of energy and attention a big-time heavyweight fight between two undefeated champions in their prime will draw. So I'm not really worried about times of the year and competitive programs, things like this. This is a fight that is strong enough to overcome all of that, so it will happen at its natural time. Okay, just real quick then, Stephen, do you have any indication of what the pay-per-view is, how successful this was in terms of the commercial viability of a rematch? Um, normally I would. Um, the satellite numbers, which are the first to come in, um, have been a little bit delayed. I've been promised, after I've been calling every 15 minutes, uh, I've been promised that by close of business, uh, West Coast time today, I will have initial projections, which means we'll probably have a good sense of things, uh, you know, by tomorrow. Uh, if I could just interject for one second, Dan. Um, you know, the pay-per-view numbers are going to come in. Obviously, we want to see them do as well as they possibly can. Um, when you look at across all social media and what's been trending, not only in sports but in general since Saturday, um, this event is through the roof. It's like off the charts. And, you know, yeah, I think it's going to – whatever's going to come in, for the for this fight's going to come in, but um, the next time these two men get into the ring on pay per view, it's an exponentially bigger fight because this is a fight that literally um, has has captured the attention of the entire world. So it's probably a little bit less relevant than it otherwise might have been. Um, what these numbers look like. All right, got it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for the time. Appreciate it. Look forward to the rematch. Thank you.